Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. Guys, this is a new video tutorial series on NoSQL database. Yes, I'm talking about the MongoDB database. So first we will learn how to install MongoDB on Windows 10. After that we will see the how to work with MongoDB. So guys, first we will start with this video tutorial. Let's get started. Right now you can see the checklist of the installation and uh, you can see uh, in the first step we have to visit the link and we will download the exe so guys you can get this link in the description so copy this link first and open your favorite browser and just paste in the address bar here we go okay press enter and guys you will see this page the MongoDB official download page. So here we are going to download the community edition server. This is free to use. Guys, you can see the selection uh, for the MongoDB community server. On the right hand side, you have enterprise server, but you have to pay for that. Okay guys, so here we have to uh, select the appropriate version as per our OS architecture. Okay, so we are selecting current release, but in the right side, I'm going to select uh, the Windows 64 bit architecture because uh, my machine is uh, working on a Windows 64 and uh, if you have a different kind of uh, requirement different kind of OS so you can uh, select uh, any OS of your choice from the list okay so we have selected and the package is MSI no need to change okay so finally we you have to press uh, this green button to download the exe once you click, you will see the message on the top. Thank you for downloading MongoDB community server and the download will begin shortly. Okay, and uh, then you will see on the left hand side your exe is getting downloaded. Okay, it will take some time. The size of uh, this exe is 256 MB. So the downloading uh, will depend on your internet speed. So we will wait for that. Okay guys, uh, downloading is done and uh, exe is ready to run. So simply just uh, select that exe and do the double click and guys you will see the very first setup window. Welcome to the MongoDB 4.2.2 and the 2008 R2 plus and click next and then you will see the license agreement window. Here you can go through the license agreement if you want. So finally you have to accept this license agreement. So just click on this checkbox. After that click next. Okay. So here uh, this is the choice option. So it is asking that uh, if you want the full feature so we will select the complete and uh, there's another option for custom. So I will suggest to choose the complete. okay just uh, click once on this button and you will see this uh, service configuration message so guys here uh, the configuration is automatically selected your mongodb going to be installed as a service and that can be initiated or that can be stored with the help of command so you can see the service name is mongodb and there's a data directory that is going to be created automatically by this setup so here data directory will store your created database files okay and this is the log directory whatever the logs will be generated that will be stored at this place in this directory so two directories is automatically being set up so you don't worry about anything okay just click next okay and uh, you don't need to install the mongodb compass because i'm not going to tell you about this thing right now it's not uh, useful for, for now so this tutorial is about for the installation click next and once you click and you will see the progress bar here for the installation okay so status bar is uh, making progress and the installation is uh, happening here Finally, you will see this message completed uh, installation completed for MongoDB and uh, what the next step guys in the next step we have to download execute installer that we have already done now we will move to the step 3 
so mongodb configuration so guys this setup has done the mongodb setup configuration automatically so we will verify it so what we have to do we have to go to the c drive go to the program files and then you will see the folder mongodb now go inside the server you will see the version 4.2 go inside the data you will see uh, these files this means uh, this is automatically set and uh, this is for the log so these two important directory already has been created by the setup so you have not to do anything in extra okay this is the configuration thing Okay, now we able to proceed to the next step. Okay, now we will check the server is running or not with the help of this command net start mongodb. Okay, so this verification will be done on the command prompt. So guys open the command prompt and uh, copy this command net start mongodb. Mm -hmm. You will see this command in the description guys we are getting access denies why because because we have not opened the command prompt as an administrator so you have to remind this thing you have to open the command prompt as an administrator okay right now I have opened this command prompt as an administrator now I will type the same command and I will hit enter okay and then you will see the message as I have seen here the requested service is already been started because once we have finished the installation the mongodb server has been initialized and running that time okay guys so verification is done now uh, we will open the mongo shell command because to work with mongodb you have to open the mongo shell okay so I am telling you the way how you can open the mongo shell here it's very simple guys uh, go to the installation folder mongodb 4.2 and up to the bin so just copy this path and come back here in the command prompt type the CD and then paste the path here okay this is the path where the mongodb installed okay so right now we are in bin folder press enter and you will see the okay and uh, now to open the console mongo console you have to type simple mongo press enter and guys you will see this message mongodb shell version 4.2.2 and we are connected now we are ready to interact with the database with the help of this mongo shell okay okay guys now uh, we have seen how to come inside the mongo shell now I will tell you how you can exit from the mongo shell okay so, so I first typed one command DB so this command will uh, show you the current working DB okay and uh, to display how many database you have in the connected DB so guys uh, you have to type simple command show DBs okay And you will see the following uh, database which is already there okay in the mongodb server admin config and local okay guys now we will uh, see how to exit from the console there are two way you can exit from the console you can just simply type control plus C com key combination on your keyboard or uh, you can simply type quit so first I'm showing you by typing the quit just type quit as a method calling and you will be out from the mongo shell okay guys now again I have entered in the mongo shell by typing the mongo command and right here I will show you the second way so simply press control plus C to exit from the mongo shell okay you will see by that means you are out from the mongo shell so this is the way you can exit from the mongo shell so guys we have seen the server starting command net start mongodb but what if you want to stop the server 
so guys the command is simple you have to type net stop mongodb press enter and you will see the message mongodb service is stopping and we have stopped it successfully so guys this is the useful command that we have seen here and uh, if you want to start it again just type net start mongodb press enter and the mongodb server services will be restarted Okay, so this command can be useful when you work with MongoDB. So I, I hope you guys have a clear understanding on the installation of MongoDB and how we can uh, go inside the Mongo shell and how we can start it. Okay, and how we can close it, how we can exit from the MongoDB. So guys, uh, closing this session here and I will uh, bring the another video tutorial on MongoDB for learning how to work with the MongoDB. So guys, if you found this video useful, please like this video and subscribe my channel. Also, you can press the bell icon if you want the latest video updates notification from my channel. And guys, for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.